Um, excuse me. I know that I was doing Vlogmas, and then after day three, I kind of just stopped, and I didn't give any explanation. And then I uploaded a video of my cat and how he drinks his water, which I think was really funny and really cute. Um, and after that, I didn't upload anything, and I haven't really been active on YouTube. Um, so, I guess this is just going to be an explanation as to why, and also kind of like a story time. Um, okay, so this goes back to October 31st, long before Vlogmas. Sorry. On October 31st, actually, while I'm talking, I'm going to pull up these text messages that I have with my mom so that I can tell you the precise story. So, um, let me just pre preface this by saying that growing up, I always had really, really weird periods. Um, and... Um, it got to the point of me having to go to the OB to get birth control just to regulate my periods. So, like, for example, one time I was on my period for three weeks, and then all of a sudden, yeah, I would be, like, on my period for three weeks, and then I'd have literally two days off, and then I'm back on another period for three weeks or even longer, sometimes shorter. And at one point, I could literally, like, basically force myself to have a period by, like, literally clenching my legs together, and then I would start a period. So, okay, I found the text messages. And, yeah. And so, I took the birth control, and that really, really helped. And I was on that for a couple months, and then I stopped. Because the doctor wanted me to stop and then see how it affected my body. And... After that, I was super regular. Every 28 days, for five days, I was have Every 28 days, I'd get a period, and then I'd have it for five days. And then when I entered, I believe it was ninth or 10th grade. Yeah. Like, ninth grade, I started how I was still really regular, but it was, like, five days long, and it would come every... Yeah, and then it started being every two to five weeks... And they were lasting two to seven days. Sorry, there's an AC unit right there. Um, and that continued for years. It literally continued until I graduated high school. And then fast forward to my brother's birthday. I started a period. Completely expecting it to go away. But it never did. And on October 31st, I texted my mom and I said that I was scared and of course her being my mother my amazing my freaking amazing mother she immediately well not really immediately it's like 13 minutes later but she responded what's wrong bug she has really weird I think they're weird but she likes them nicknames for her children and I told her that I was I'm not supposed to be on my period but I can't keep but I can't stop, like, basically menstruating. Like, I kept bleeding like I was on a period. And at, for the past, like, six, no, not six hours, like, four hours, I couldn't keep anything down. I couldn't eat anything without it deciding, hey, I want to show you what I look like again. And same with drinks. I couldn't keep anything down. It was really weird. And there were little tiny traces of blood in the puke. And then I said that I was having what feels like light period cramps, but again, I wasn't supposed to be on my period. And my mom immediately said, how long has, my mom immediately says, dad needs to get you to a doctor. And then she asked, how long has this been going on? And I said, since at least yesterday afternoon. And then she said, did you tell him? I said, no, because I didn't want to scare him. And she said that I needed to tell him. 
because it sounded like a kidney infection and it can cause the, uh, it could cause the prolonged bleeding and the blood and the vomit and that kind of thing. And then she said, well, it could also be a kidney stone. So I immediately woke my dad up and we went to the ER and I said, okay, well, I'm just waiting for the daytime. And then like an hour after she said it could be a kidney stone. I said that I was waiting for the daytime nurses to come in. Well, they had to wait for the daytime nurses to come in and open up basically a whole new wing of rooms because they had a few rooms open in the ER for overnight, but not all of them. And they were just waiting for the daytime nurses to come in so they could go on in so that they could go on and open them up. And she said just to keep her posted. And then I. While I was there, they ran urine tests. They ran a urine test. Um, they did an ultrasound, which is how they diagnosed me with an ovarian cyst. And they also wanted to do, before they figured out that it was an ovarian cyst, they weren't ruling out anything and they wanted to draw blood. So they started on my right arm, stuck me in one place, then went to another place on my right arm, stuck me there. And then they went over to my left arm, stuck me there. and. The only reason they kept sticking me was because I was resisting and they couldn't get any blood, so they kept trying five different places. They ended up sticking me a total of four times, and neither time did they get any blood. And so they're like, okay, we're not, the nurse that was there was like, okay, I'm done. I can't stick you anymore. Someone else is going to have to come in. And I immediately said, no, no, I'm done. And so they're like, okay, well, we'll go in and run a, we'll go in and run an ultrasound. So that's how that happened, and then I got an ovarian cyst, and then the doctor gave me this medicine to take when I was having pain, and if I took one, I had to note the time because I could only take it every eight hours. But every time I took it, I had to take it with food, so. And it was 800 milligrams of Motrin. That's why I had to take it with food. And I got referred to OBs. I got referred to an OB, and I got referred to a kidney doctor. However, they did not accept the type of Medicaid that I am on and I don't want to get into that just saying that my family doesn't make enough money to be like we needed the support basically and so that happened and they wouldn't let me even go in or make an appointment because I didn't have the type of Medicaid like they weren't accepting Medicaid the OB and then the kidney doctor accepted only this premium kind of Medicaid and we didn't have that so we just nixed it and then we went to the doctor, or no, I called the hospital and said, look, this is what's going on. And they said, just wait it out. So I waited it out. And then on December 3rd at about 1.45 in the afternoon, I texted my dad and I said, something's wrong. And that's all he could text because I was in so much pain. Um, and he said, what's wrong? What do you need? I said, it hurts so bad. And I literally thought my cyst had ruptured and I needed to go in for an emergency operation. I don't know what it's called, the doctor there, because I went to a different ER, so that it would have been a DNC. But the cyst wasn't in my uterus, so... I don't know. And... Yeah. And he said, okay, well, I can't get off you're going to have to wait about an hour. And I knew that was going to happen anyway. Um, so I waited. And in that time, I called my mom and I said, look, this is what's going on. And again, she said, keep us posted. So we went into another ER. They were able to draw blood, which is where this, I don't know if you can really see it, but I have this bruise right here. My skin just bruises up when I get needles stuck in my arm for some reason. I don't know. That's how it happens. And it takes a lot longer for them to heal. So we went there and they were able to draw blood. They didn't need to do, for some reason they didn't do an ultrasound, but I guess it's because they got my records from the other hospital over. And again, we plus we had explained, look, she's had an ovarian cyst. This stuff has happened, blah, blah, blah. blah. 
and so they went off of that, and then they got, I think they got my records from the other hospital, and <laughs> they ran blood tests and everything, and I did a pelvic exam. Now that I say that, I remember I didn't say that the first hospital ran a pelvic exam, too. So, they ran a pelvic exam, or they did a pelvic exam, and they couldn't feel anything wrong. And they took blood and ran that, and I was diagnosed with weird uterine bleeding. And it, on the sheet, it's, it has the name, but I really don't want to get up and grab it. So, yeah, and then I was told that that means I'm not pregnant. I am not pregnant. I am not pregnant. And I was like... I mean, I'm a virgin anyway, so it's not like I could have been pregnant. So, anyway. And they gave me, actually I have the bottle right here. They gave me 375 milligrams of naproxen. And it said, yeah. And again, I had to take that with food, so I was eating like a slice of bread when I had to take it or eating some crackers or something, just so I had something to take it with. And literally the day after that, or the day after, or two days after, I just stopped bleeding. And since then, I haven't bled. But now, I'm getting symptoms of what could be another period. So, um, I don't know. It could be ovulation cramps. I don't know. Um, but I just have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't get any, any worse, because the doctor said if you have, because of how bad the cyst, yeah, because of my cyst and where it was and how long the bleeding had lasted, they said, look, you could have another one. They didn't want to outright diagnose me with PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a form of infertility. They... I mean, they didn't want to outright diagnose me as that, but they said that that's a possibility. So, they told me to start tracking my periods, and that's what I'm doing. I literally have to write it down, like, when I start having cramps, when I actually start bleeding, how long the bleeding is, if the bleeding's heavy or not, that kind of thing. I keep looking over there because my cat is sleeping on the counter. <laughs> and, anyway, so... I have to track my periods, that kind of thing. So, that's fun. But, fast forward to now. Five days till Christmas of 2018 at 12.36 in the morning. And I'm doing perfectly fine. Um, the only pain I'm in is menstrual cramps. Which I think might be ovulation cramps too. But, I don't know. So, other than that, I'm fine. I feel good. I'm loving life again. I'm not saying I want to die I'll, or I just want to puke because at some points I was just like, at this point, I I feel really bad and I just really want to throw up. So I'm not there anymore. You know, I'm not at that stage. I feel great and I'm honestly, I have a lot more energy than I did. <laughs> And I love it. And yeah. And so and that's why I wasn't uploading. So I hope you understand and don't get mad at me for that. Although I know I'm going to have people will be like, blah, 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 you could have done this, blah, blah. Well, I needed time to myself. So that's why I took it off. So I took time off. And I hope to get back into the swing of things. But that's going to be hard because I have to go up to North Carolina next week for Christmas. But when I get back down here, I will start making videos again. Um, my video is over 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes long now. So I'm going to go in and end it here. And I'm probably going to film another one later today just because I put up an Instagram poll. Not a poll. I didn't even, oh my god. When I turn those on, it turns on the TV too. It's like... I don't even want to watch TV right now, but I guess I kind of have to. Mm. 
anyway, so I'm going to go on and end it here. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye. Let me figure out how to end this.